हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ राजग्रीन इंफारलिंक्स एलएलपी वर्सेस डिप्टी कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 109 आईटीआर ट्रिब्यूनल पेज नंबर 52 एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय सूरत आईटीएटी इन दिस केस देयर वर एडिशंस अंडर सेक्शन 68 एंड all those additions were based only on the general remarks made by the assessing officer in the assessment order the facts of the case are very interesting in this case the assessee is a real estate developer and this was the first year of its operations the assessee received loans from 44 parties out of 44 parties three major parties were there and the remaining parties were having the loan amount of ranging between 5 lakh to 10 lakh out of these amounts assessee advanced the amount to a party r for the purchase of the land the case of the assessee was picked for scrutiny assessment and during the scrutiny assessment the assessee submitted all the relevant documents related to the 44 parties that is uh, their identity proof their bank statement their income tax returns their confirmations the assessing officer alleged that these parties do not have the genuine transactions and question their credit worthiness and without making any inquiry under section 133 subsection 6 or under section 131 by calling them in summons made the addition for all the parties the basis of addition for these loans was that as far as the three major parties were concerned they were uh, there was only very general comment and as far as the 41 parties were concerned it was the allegation of the assessing officer that uh, uh, they were ranging between 5 to 10 lakh their confirmations have not been filed or either, or their confirmations have been filed by the assessee by their own and it was also the allegation of the assessing officer that from where these loans has been taken those parties have received this amount only some days back in their bank accounts so these were the general comments and there was no specific default found by the assessing officer in the documents filed by the assc so all these 44 loans were added under section 68 apart from that the learned assessing officer also made the addition of the advance given from these loans itself under section 68 by alleging that the document under which this advance has been given is not registered so there were huge additions when this matter came to the cit appeal cit appeal as far as the advance amount given to r was concerned was of the opinion that this is double taxation and deleted the addition of advance given to r so now only one addition was there in the itat there were cross appeals filed by the assc and by the department itat as far as the addition under section 68 for the loans received was concerned also deleted those additions by remarking that out of the 44 loans there was practically no observation of the assessing officer as regard three major loans are concerned and as far as 44 loans were uh, 41 loans were concerned there were only general observations there was no specific default found by the assessing officer the itat also found that during the year 14 loans have even been repaid by the assc so the allegation of the assessing officer that these amount has been routed through the own group is not proved by the assessing officer because when the amount is repaid it cannot be said that the assessee is benefited from an, any accommodation entry so in the present case the tribunal said that in this case the huge additions made by the learned assessing officer is purely a case of privacy of justice and deleted all the additions made by the assessing officer at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is rajgreen infra link llp versus dcit 
and this case has been reported in 109 ITR tribunal at page number 52. The matter has been decided by Surat IT80 and the date of the judgment is 26th October 2023. Thank you friends.